All right, what's up, Jay's Fitness fans? Your boy Jay Dizzle. Just at work chilling, um, cleaning the building, and this is like the perfect time for me to make videos because um, it's quiet and I'm the only one here. So, um, anyway, so I, I get hit up all the time, guys, on like Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, and uh, like I'll post like my Transformation Tuesday pictures and, and people will message me like dude you're killing it like what what are you doing you know and and uh instead of just commenting on the picture or the video <laughs> it's like they'll, they'll like private message me and want to know some tips and ways on how to start their fitness journey and and um like what motivated me and what's keeping me motivated to keep going and things like that so i thought today would be you know perfect time for me to drop a video on you guys and give you five tips that I used um, during the early stages of Jay's fitness journey uh, to reach my ultimate goal. So um, there could be, you know, there's a ton of other things that could go into this, but these are probably the five biggest things that I used in the early uh, stages of my fitness journey. So let's get started, baby. All right, tip number one. Tip number one would be to set a realistic goal, guys. Um, just say you're, you know, you're overweight like I was, and uh, you want to be a certain weight. You have to set a goal of when you want to reach that weight, okay? Um, and it's probably not going to be in 12 weeks. It's not going to be in 15 weeks. Things like that. It's like I gave myself an entire year, guys, to reach this goal uh, my goal was to be 195 pounds I was 260 you know just overweight and uh, basically obese I, I was obese and I didn't really want to admit that I didn't really think I was because like I lifted heavy like I, I, I would go to the gym I, I mean of course I was not eating correctly but I was lifting guys I was like trying to be like Ronnie Coleman I was always lifting big weights like I was up to I think six plates on like t-bar rows in the corner like ronnie you know um you know i was i hit 275 on the squat things like that like you know which is not a lot for some people but it was for me i never done stuff like that um but the eating just was not right so anyway so i went to the doctor this was my aha moment of why i started my entire journey went to the doctor Found out I had high blood pressure. Uh, he put me on medication, and at the time I was 38. I was like, I don't want to be on medication, you know, at 38 for something that I can control by simply exercising and eating right. Um, so um, I also have sleep apnea. I have to wear a mask at night to help me breathe because um, I stopped breathing for like two minutes at a time, um, which is you know deadly, guys. You know, I could not wake up one day. So had to get my weight, you know, under, you know, under wraps. All right. So that was pretty much it right there. And um, so my my goal was to be 195 pounds and to ultimately compete, um, which didn't happen. Um, but my goal was really outlandish. It was far fetched. And I didn't know how or when I would reach it. But I set the goal of uh by December 31st, 2014. Now, I didn't reach that at that time, but I got pretty close. I got to two, 213 pounds, and I was ecstatic, you know, because um, I chipped away at it every single day. So with that long-term goal, guys, you got to set little short-term goals each week, each day, you know. Um, write them down. One thing that helps me is I have a wall calendar or a desk calendar that I that I hung on the wall. So I see my goal every single day when I wake up. It's the first thing that I see when I wake up. Um, and I just, I write things down. Like I want to be two pounds uh, lighter this week when I do my weigh-in, things like that. And then, you know, do what's necessary to achieve that. You know, don't skip your workouts. Don't skip your, your meals. Don't skip drinking water, things like that. You know, but start slow. Just don't eliminate everything. Just 
try to set this far-fetched outlandish goal of oh i'm never gonna eat fries again or i'm never gonna eat cake and stuff like that be realistic eliminate one thing here and there and then uh, you'll have better success that way and then once you start you know shedding the pounds you stop craving things anyway all right so tip number one summary is just to set a realistic goal and attack it every single day all right write it down and, and then that way you will stay on track tip number two would be to attack that plan you set the plan put the plan in motion uh, and how you do that is scheduling your workouts, schedule your, your meals, uh, if you have a day that you can prep all your meals, things like that. Guys, you're not the first one to have kids. You're not the first one to work nine, ten hour shifts. You're not the first one to have two jobs, okay? I have two jobs. I've had three jobs at one point in my life. And I had a little baby girl at the time. She's ten now, but, you know, I still found time to go to the gym, you know? Um, because I just made it a priority and that's what you have to do you have to you have to attack it you have to make it a priority if you really want to lose weight and feel good and look good make it a priority guys attack that 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 goal every single day now one of the things that helped me um, attack that goal was being prepared guys have have your clothes your gym bag ready you know have a have a towel. Have you know your 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 uh, your personal hygiene products with you in your bag. Have you know um, your belt, your your wraps, your straps, everything that you need for the gym. You know, have it in your bag. Have a resistance band. I have I actually have uh, uh, adjustable dumbbells in my car because when I worked in the office, it's like. You know, usually after work, you know, between five and eight o'clock at night, that's when the gym is the busiest, you know, and you can't really sometimes get a good workout in and things like that. So a lot of times I would actually work out at work. Um, if you watch my one year transformation video, guys, I would walk the stairs like Mike Rashid said, the earth is our gym. You know, it, did, it doesn't always have to be the gym. Guys, I would I would walk uh, from my front door of my office building around this uh, block was like one mile so I would walk that three times a day so I would get three miles in just doing that I would walk the stairs on days when it was snowing or it was raining outside and stuff like that I get to the top of the stairs I do push-ups I get to the bottom of the, of the stairs I would do sit-ups and crunches things like that guys I did not make an excuse um, and along with that is just say you have coworkers who say, oh, you know, I see you doing your thing and I want to walk with you at, at lunch and I want to do this. You know, whether they're there or not, guys, you still go do it. OK, what if they're on vacation or what if they had a death in the family? They're not there that day. You know, are you not going to go because your your walking buddy isn't there? You know, it's like, no, you still got to go. You have a job to do. All right. So attack it every single day. Three would be to. Uh, find like-minded people guys you know it, it's it's so I said this a million times and I think I said it on my last video this journey is already hard enough but it's ten times harder when you're doing it all by yourself and guys I, I do this all by myself you know I shoot these videos by myself I go to the gym by myself the only, the, the only video that you've seen me training with somebody was the last two videos with my boy Dana you know I mean he lives in Atlanta so you know he can't come with me every day but, you know, find like-minded people. Um, I mean, Dana, you know, we, we call each other. We talk to each other. You know, he motivates me. He gives me workouts. I mean, he's a personal trainer and he's a fitness model and stuff like that. So, I mean, he's a motivating factor to me, you know. So, um, but just like I said in the, in the last tip, you know, as you find those people, you're going to notice that some of them are going to taper off. Some of them are going to start breaking off and they're going to start coming up with excuses. Oh, I forgot my shoes or, oh, I, you know, this, that, and the other. Or, you know, it's like, guys, just just keep going anyway. Don't worry about what they're doing, okay? You know that this is your goal, your dream, your passion, whatever. And, you know, you're trying to get into that, that wedding dress before, uh, you know, June 1st or you're trying to, you know, go on a cruise by this time it's like guys stop the bs and just attack every single day and if those people aren't there in your corner hey you gotta leave them behind man because your ultimate goal is to look good and to feel good right so um you know find find a uh 
find like a, a, a some sort of fitness class, whether it be at a gym or like a church or something like that. Um, there's always like like the Zumba classes or aerobics classes, things like that, and things like that will help you stay motivated to to go. Tip number four, guys, would be to plan ahead. Okay, um, like I said before. I, I would have my, my gym clothes in the car, my gym bag, my shoes, everything I needed to go to the gym. Um, I'm fortunate now to have a 24 hour gym so I can go anytime um, because that's one of the things that sucked for me was it's like I'd get off of work at, you know, when I worked at nights and things like that. Um, but the gym would close at 10 o'clock and I'm like, well, I didn't, I wasn't able to get a workout in. So, you know, a hardcore workout, just say it was back day or something. Um, so just plan ahead, plan, you know, get up an hour earlier, you know, it's like, guys, you, if this is important to you, you're going to make the time to do it. And, um, so, you know, DVR your TV shows, <laughs> TV's not going anywhere. The gym's not going anywhere, but if you make this a priority guys, and you'll, you'll find the time to, to get it in. Okay. So plan ahead, plan your workouts, plan your meals. Um, one of the things that helped me. Uh, stay on track was to plan my cheat meals. I worked in the office. Guys, there was always potlucks. There was always somebody bringing donuts and cakes and cookies and pies and, you know, leftover lasagna, things like that <laughs> that they had the night before. And it's like, it's it's so tempting. But if you plan your meals, if you, if you, if you prep your meals ahead of time and bring them in your little cooler and stuff like that, guys, it's so easy to stay on track. Now, one of the things that I did as far as cheat meals and cheat days and things like that was we'd have uh, company meetings uh, every month and every quarter. I already knew when those were, so I would plan I would plan to have, um, I would still bring my meals just in case it was something I didn't like. Like, I don't like uh, sub sandwiches, things like that, so um, I would just bring my meal anyway just in case it was something I didn't like, um, and then you still stay on track. Now, most of the time they're getting pizza, they're getting uh, pasta, things like that. So, but one of the ways that I just, I, you know, I just scheduled those cheat days around that, or I would set a, going back to setting goals, I would set a goal to be a certain amount of weight uh, this week, like when I do my weigh in, and I would say, okay, if I reach this, I'll have a cheat meal at Cheesecake Factory, my favorite place. Um, and, uh, I would get the Louis. I get the Louisiana chicken pasta. That's my favorite dish, and uh, carrot cake is my favorite. So I would get a big old hunk of carrot cake, you know. And I would plan that cheat meal. Now, if I didn't reach my goal, I wouldn't have the cheat, you know. And I would, you know, strive, you know, to reach the goal the next week, and, and then to ultimately earn that reward, you know. And it's bad that we have to use food as a reward, but that's just how it was. Um, plan your workouts, guys. Um, I got up, you know, like in my transformation video, it was 2.30 in the morning. You know, I worked out at 1.30 in the morning. I, I worked out last night at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I got done with work kind of early. So I went to the gym, got it in, got my upper body workout in. Guys, if you really want this, you will make the time to do it. So plan your workouts. Um, if you can't get to the gym, like Mike Rashid said, the earth is our gym. Guys, I will walk the stairs at work. Get to the top, do push-ups. Get to the bottom, do crunches. Um, I do one-minute uh, toe taps on the, on the uh, on one of the stairs, you know, and things like that, guys. I mean, I wouldn't work up a massive sweat, but I would, you know, do just enough in those 15 minutes or 30 minutes at lunch to, you know, get a nice little pump going. Have a resistance band. I have, like I said, I have my adjustable dumbbells in the car, guys. I would get nice little workouts in at work, so I know that if the gym was closed or things like that. I, I still did something, okay? Work out at home. It doesn't always have to be the gym. You can do crunches at home. You can do push-ups at home. You know, they got the little pull-up bars. You can you can do stuff at home, guys, okay? It doesn't always have to be the gym. Five, my last tip would just be to have a positive attitude, guys. It is so hard to do this um, all by yourself, but guys, that's just the way it is sometimes, and you just gotta find Guys, I watch YouTube videos while I'm on the treadmill. I, I watch like motivational uh, videos, Les Brown, uh, Eric Thomas, you know, even C.T. Fletcher, Mike Rasheed, things like that, to keep me motivated. And there's every day's not gonna be sunshine, rainbows, and perfect, guys. But 
if you just have the the right mind frame going into this, you you will succeed. Okay, you know, track your workouts. Get a get an app like My Fitness Pal or Body Space. And um, the thing I really like about like My Fitness Pal and Body Space is that you can set little goals on there too, little weight loss goals, and it gives you reminders. Hey, you gotta you got you you gotta do your way in today. Okay, and it's it's guys, it's it's simple. Okay, it's really simple. You don't have to make it more complicated than what it is. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave me some comments of uh, if you've already started your fitness journey and how you're staying on track. Anything I didn't cover, um, you know, leave in the comments. I'll probably do another follow up video and give you some more tips on what I'm actually doing to stay on track uh, currently. So I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and subscribe. Until the next time, I love you. And there's nothing that you can do about that, baby. It's your boy Jay with Jay's Fitness Journey. Peace.